Hey guys, Dave from Dave Builds It. I've been cooking a lot more lately. Um, I think my wife is on strike. I, I don't know. But um, it says I've been cooking more. Uh, I realize that we don't really have a good cutting board. Well, I like to build things, if you didn't know. Um, and you probably didn't know by watching my videos because I never build anything. I just rant and bitch about stuff. But um, I have a really nice piece of, I think is hickory. I'm oh, not hickory, walnut. Um, I'm colorblind and it really sucks to be colorblind if you need to pick out wood and such but um, we're gonna use this piece and I'm gonna make a cutting board and yeah so I want this cutting board to be square so I'm gonna run it through the joiner on two sides square those sides up then I'll move it over to the table saw and then cut the other two sides everything should be good and square from that point Now I'm going to run this through the planer a lot because I had a specified thickness that I wanted to start with. I don't remember what it was, but I wanted to give myself some room to screw up because I screwed up a lot. Here I'm just putting a chamfered edge on it. So note that I'm using um, my plunge router and it has three round sides and one flat side. I don't want to butt the flat side up against the template like I'm doing right here. And I just realized that. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. Damn it. The back to the planer. I'm going to thin it out a little bit. Thank God I gave myself some room. And here's where I really screwed up by putting the chamfered edges on it. It's wanting to bite and twist, so I had to be really careful here. Or, or not. I just shoved it through, to be honest. The screw up gave me a chance to use my uh, logo that I haven't used before. I actually have two sizes of it. You'll see it in a minute. And I just wanted to cut a piece out so I can kind of use the router to follow around, um, make sure I had enough room to uh, use the logo on the corner. Remember when I screwed up earlier and I referenced the flat side of the plunge router? Yeah, I just realized that I did it again. I lost some video, um, but I had to make a new uh, kind of a template for the router. Now, that only took like three times. Remember what this board looked like when I started? So I used a template to hold it while I was seeing it again. It ended up being really handy. Uh, I don't remember what grit size I used. I think I started with 80 and worked at the 220. Um, but it was a whole hell of a lot of sanding to get this smooth as you can see here. Don't forget to sand your channels when you uh, make one of your own. I made a little template for the logo, and I used a small logo here. It looked like it worked better, uh, but I was still nervous as hell that I was going to screw this up, and you can see this in just a minute. shaking like I needed to fix. And even with the preparation I screwed up, but it was nothing that sanding couldn't take care of.
before you can use or do it yourself cutting board, um, you should condition it. Some people uh, will use mineral spirits and beeswax and they'll make their own mixture. I'm way the hell too lazy to go through all that stuff. So I just went to the store and picked a bottle of it up. I think I got this at Lowe's for about six or seven, eight bucks. I don't remember the name of it. Um, oh, thanks Dave. Butcher Block Conditioner. It's very original name. So I just spread a heavy coat all over the board. Um, I didn't rub it in. I just let it sit for about 20 minutes. And then I came back and then I rubbed it in. And I did this three times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I didn't show all those uh, times I did this, but it's not that complicated. But I will show you me parking my um, 2012 Electric Glide uh, Ultra Limited in the garage. Because why the hell not? So what good is it if I show you me making a cutting board but not using it? And I want to give a special shout out to the family member using the ice maker while I'm setting up my damn beauty shots. 